So hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're going to Hapmoon Lake with my friends Emilia and Claridad family. So we are on the way. It's about 20 minutes from our home in south side of Edmonton. So at this very moment, it's about 5.30 in the evening and we thought it's going to rain. So here you go while I'm doing the voice recorder, my son called me. So this, this is the entrance of the Hapmoon Lake. Actually, this place is very amazing and I re really recommend for the next future summer trips. It's about 20 minutes from south side of Edmonton. The entrance was very nice. It was big. It was uh, there, there was no traffic and upon arrival of the site, it was almost really uh, fully booked. But I love the space. I love the site area where there's a separate power and well while we're setting our stuff here uh it was really uh, a good time uh, because it was really sunny and we also brought our uh kitchen appliances for the easy access for the food and to warm the food so that evening it's also pj's 11 years in canada and also uh, nana's birthday and of course murphy's birthday so we have three celebration at this year so while we're waiting for the cake to be sliced the uh, the kids are inside the tent and they're playing and they're getting ready for the trampoline so in our first day uh, glenn brought her his boat and here we go we went to the lake and it was really amazing the view uh, we thought it's going to rain but it was about 28 degree so all the kids also enjoyed we're almost in the middle of the lake but uh, it was really amazing so here's glenn and giselle as per giselle it's her first time to do paddle boarding uh, which is i did not even try because i have a fear that i might um I uh, wasn't able to balance myself, but uh, I'm just here taking the video for them for our memories for next year together So in the middle of the boat there in the lake in the middle of the lake there My kids are, are there already and they really don't want to to come nearby the uh, Nearby the side so here they enjoy it again they really enjoyed riding even my son so um, but me, while I'm taking the video, I'm concerned because they're almost in the middle of the lake. But it was fun uh, taking pictures and capturing. So for me, it's okay to do the voiceover so I could just say what I need to say. And it was clear. So here you go, guys. Um, it's amazing. I'm doing, I'm not doing, I forgot to do the landscaping for my phone so that uh, the video will be landscaped here and because some of the video i will also upload it to my reels so here we are now james is paddling and murphy was at the front with kathy so it was just like yesterday together when our husband is not here yet so we hang out together where we live in vancouver before and now through the next generation are also kids bonding is uh, amazing and they really always asking when is our next trip so that is James in the middle of the, the lake uh, trying to be alone and me and him trying to look more of the view. So here we're back to the site and Ia couldn't able to join at this moment. So here's inside the tent. It was uh, really warm in the night because we also have the heater. And there we go. We are preparing for our marshmallow or bonfire. And here... Uh, anyhow, ihaw namin yung corn and I actually it's my first time because I like the corn to be boiled in water so I could drink the water so this time I enjoyed also uh, yung inihaw na corn so inside the tent is like this and then early next morning here we are I took a quick walk through this area uh, to add for my 
vlogging so that I can show you this place. There's a look A, B, and C. It was really big. It was uh, clean. It was uh, maintained and even in case of the emergency or something that you really need to ask or really need uh, or asking for help with this uh, a resort they are the staff are very happy to help you and everywhere they there's a staff that you can help even the bathroom and so here is the trampoline this is the best place for the kids my son almost stayed here for the whole time and this area is the basketball the volleyball court area the sand pit also so my son really wanted to go for, to the trampoline but because it's eight o'clock in the morning there's no kids yet and actually this is our last day of the camp so here when you this is about in the uh, close to the swimming pool in this area so the, the as per other customer here who booked before last year they don't have the swimming pool yet but now the swimming pool is amazing it's not that deep so the benches are very uh, clean bathroom are clean the, uh, the garbage the trash are are separated and I, I could tell that uh, this is one of the very nice and clean resort, Half Moon Lake, where you can enjoy much of the paddle boarding, boating, uh, sand pit, uh, even mini golf for the kids. It was really good. So I enjoyed this plant because I love the color. And here we go. This is the almost the exit. So this left building is the office, the information where you can ask. It was big and uh, uh, the, the staff is uh, absolutely very friendly. They could uh, even uh, help you in small things. So on this side, we're about to, this is our last day of the camp and we're about to pack everything. Um, we're just worried that it may, may not be fit in the car, but um, we tried our best to uh, put everything into small uh, uh, packing and uh, some of our stuff we already thrown away and uh, uh, because we also have the bike so here we go uh, Kat is helping us to warm all the food in the air fryer air fryer really helps us during our camp and as we pack our tent gazebo um, uh, to be honest our kids our children really wanted to extend one more night but here we go the Claridus family is already uh, folding their stuff they're preparing for their church come next week so hello Glenn how are you so here we go guys and it was really fun this place and madali na lang coming to connect one another in this area kasi the site that we book are really ano, uh, it was just like a triangle so uh, because of um, unavailability of the other not available volume aming side so 309 to 308 so they were at our back so uh, around aisle 4 so we're just like a triangle so we could still meet in the middle so here we go um, Kathy and Murphy are uh, folding their tent now and Kiona is always the princess of our group so here we're trying to say cheese because it's our family picture so that we could keep this for the next year it was amazing I'm taking picture at this time and I'm capturing every moment we also meet a lot of Filipino family in this area some of them are are close to our home some of them are our just neighbor so it was fun uh they they book at the front in front of us so during the night we still hang out to chat for a little bit and some of them are from Cebu some of them are from Iloilo and some of them are from my province so we really enjoyed so here we go we're homebound now um Murphy is the first to lead the way to go home and to be honest at this time the kids are whining they wanted to stay home to stay one more night so Claridad is here in white van so this family really traveled almost three hours from calgary they left calgary in our first night from four in the morning and they reached uh, to this place about uh, seven and eight in the morning already so upon uh, leaving this place we met james co-worker they are booked to stay for sunday night so we enjoyed really much and we really recommend this place the place is amazing in, and the weather is 27 to 28 degree at this time so it's about uh, two to three weeks na, and the, the kids are going back to school so we take the chance to to give them more fun so the kids are playing with Kiona because uh, 
Hyona is always smiling and she of course she really don't know yet what's going on so here's the moment this year and for future um, we are gonna come back here again please subscribe to my channel if you consider liking this video thank you Bye.